Since you came, since you've been crying. You know what? Cry and die. Okay, nonsense. Little girl, tell me, how old are you? 19. 19? Then tell me, what are you doing in here? What brought you in here?
They made sure they collected every single thing I had. They made sure I transferred every single penny I had to them. So I was broke again. I managed to gather up my broken piece. Then I got myself a job in the bank. I started working. I was so diligent. I was very, very faithful. Suddenly, I was accused of theft. And that's how I found myself here two years ago. But something inside so strong tells me God loves me. And I love him right back. Something inside tells me he's going to make it when it seems to be the way. Yes, God. Talk about God. Yes. God doesn't love, love me and I don't love him too. No, I don't oh, because God watched God. me suffer. God watched everything that happened to me. Watched my mother die and he did nothing about it. So I don't love him. I don't love him. Excuse me. Please, I'm looking for Margaret. I'm Margaret. What can I do for you? I am Barista Steven. Steven C. I'm a senior advocate of Nigeria. I'm here to help you with the case. <laughs> You're here to help me with the case? Yes, I'm here to help you with the case. You know, it's funny how you say that because I don't have nobody. I'm an orphan. No uncle, no aunt. I know one day I'm going to die in this prison. So, I mean, who sent you? God sent me to you. No, yeah. I've been really go see you commit me to love. You are a coma, baby. I'm sorry for the interruption. Sorry, let me take that back. Who sent you? God sent me to you. I'm here to help you with your case. God sent you? Yes, he did. God sent me. God. That said, I hear like in my verdict. Miss Margaret of your know I hereby find you not guilty in this murder case. And you are hereby discharged and acquainted. Because I rise.
It's just left for us to reciprocate. Then he will play his part. So I would like to advise those that are listening that are going through the same situation or even worse situations that they should focus on Christ and remember that he loves you and God will always come on time. Hallelujah. God will always come on time. So Christabel, like, what do you have to say concerning this? Okay. You know, I always tell people this thing. God did not come when you wanted does not mean it's not right to be. It was something that really caught my attention. After all the things that she said about God, after, you know, saying so, much, so many awful things about God, he still showed up to say, I love you. That's to say, you know, when God loves you, he does not look back. He loves us recklessly. And that's one thing we should have at the back of our mind. We should always know this, that God's love never fades. No matter what, does not fade. So I'm urging us out there to always be steadfast. Let us just stay in the faith and always believe that something good is coming our way because God does not leave his children. And then I say it again. God did not come when you wanted. does not mean it was not right to be done. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Sister Christabel. You see, God's love does not fail. So, Brother Famous, what do you have to say concerning this scenario of Margaret and uh, a lot of persons who are actually going through sin? Well, the storyline actually tells us that the love of God is immeasurable. It's not a mistake. We can't completely describe the love God has shown to us. Now, everything that happened around Margaret to her, it was to her that God never loved her. But John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world. God has played his role to salvation ever since. And we and to everyone out there, we can completely make manifest the love of God. But we'll come to the realization of it and come to accept Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. By so doing, we are playing our role to salvation. And we come to understand that the love of God is really endless. No matter what you have done, no matter the gravity. Because if God had really looked at everything, then maybe we would have not have sent Jesus Christ to die for us. So to everyone out there, it should not be to you that God does not love you. Irrespective of what you are going through. God loves you, and you have to find yourself in that love and make manifest that love. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Brother Famous. You hear that? You have to find yourself in God's love. I want to know that your, your presence in this world is not a mistake. God yes. knew you are coming, and he prepared a place for you. So we just want to focus on the love of God. Be receptive to his love. Any yes. situation you are passing through, you think maybe you are hopeless, you think maybe, you know, you are helpless, just hold on to God's word. Yes. God's yes. promises, they are yea and amen, and they cannot fail you. Yes. They can't fail you. He that has the son has life. You have life because you have the son. Please, Agape, first name, Holy Bishop, please. God bless you. Thanks for watching.